Hello fellow monkey makes, you're Sad Chow Jessica, and today I'll be giving you a list of types of monkeys fans. Alright, so, um, please do not take offense, you know, if it sounds like I'm stereotyping types of fans, like, I'm hoping that you can at least relate to some of these, and, you know, I'm not trying to hurt anyone, please don't take offense to my list. Oh yeah, and we still have auditions going on, so please be sure to turn in your audition by Tuesday. So the first type of fan that I will list off is the noob. Now this is like freshly new, just discovered the monkeys a week ago. You know, just started watching a few episodes of the show. And they only know a few songs, like I'm a Believer, I'm Not Your Stepping Stone, Daydream Believer, and Last Train to Clarksville. Like, yeah, like they're just getting into their music and they're low-key clueless, but they're trying to learn. Alright, the second one is the author. Fanfic writer. <laughs> Alright, so fanfic writers, they write unrealistic prompts about their favorite member of a monkey or just like a alternate universe of the monkeys. Most of the time, if we're feeling up to it, they often lead to smut. <laughs> Three, the collector. These type of fans are on eBay practically 24-7, like, they have an entire room dedicated to monkeys, memorabilia, merchandise, everything. Four, the obsessor. Now this person just stopped listening to other bands and dedicate their life to the monkeys until they calm down their obsession and start incorporating the other guys. Five. The love hater, or I like to call it the bipolar fan, but I don't think that's a good word for it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> now this type of fan nitpicks the bad qualities of her boys, and really, we all have bad qualities. And but this fan still loves them so much, but it's so hard for them to overcome the bad stuff. So they're kind of conflicted. Number six, the shipper. Now, these type of fans ship Dolan Smith, Torque Smith. Torque Smith is a very popular one. And there's Jolins. These people find evidence to prove that it's valid that these, that their two favorite monkeys hooked up at one point in time. And it's actually kind of interesting to like hear them talk about like, you know, what if. Seven, the jealous wife. Now this type of fan is like the obsessor, like they, but it's towards one specific monkey, their favorite monkey. Like they, they dedicate everything to this monkey, and you know they get jealous of other fans that claim that that's their monkey, and they get jealous of like monkeys' wives. Eight. The first generation fans. Now these type of fans, they grew up watching the monkeys when it actually aired. They waited in line in record stores for that newly released album. I envy them so much. But I really love talking to first generation fans. Like they're so kind and you know, I would ask for like some stories like, hey, you know, what was what was it like back then? You know, and it's so cool. Nine, the dictionary. These type of fans know every little thing about the monkeys, or they claim to know every little thing about the monkeys. Like they will just spew off obscure facts about the monkeys that no one asks for. But hey, they're probably like the number one fan that you want to ask for facts from. You know, if you want to get into the monkeys more. Finally, we have the normal one. They're practically non-existent. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, these type of fans are most definitely, they have a healthy respect for the monkeys. You know, they're kind of just there enjoying being part of a monkeys fandom. You know, they love the monkeys so much. They love the show, they love their music, and you know, it's cool. That is the end of my video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to add on to this list, leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to audition, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week, and I will hopefully see you all next week. Bye.